So today I'm with Philip Topesh, who's the sustainable battery engineer with Henkel Adhesives. Philip, welcome. Well, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here today. So would you like to start by telling us a little bit about Henkel Adhesives business? Yes, absolutely. So Henkel is a provider of all kinds of adhesive materials um, in the automotive industry, well, partly in the automotive industry, but obviously also within the battery industry. And um, we provide all kinds of adhesive, of thermal conductive adhesives, of uh, gap pads, um, of, of, well, technical materials, inactive materials within the battery pack itself. Um, and um, we're here because we do see that there is a, a strong need um, to well disassemble batteries at end of life mm -hmm. and this is why obviously um, the battery recycling market is kind of relevant uh, to us. Okay and what is it that you bring to this market? Why should a customer choose Henkel adhesives? Well we, we currently see that at end of life a lot of battery packs themselves are well really filled with glue and it's kind of difficult to um, disassemble those battery packs mm -hmm. to uh, enable a reuse, a repair, which is kind of relevant for the OEM, a reuse for well second life applications, but also in terms of like high yields in, uh, in recycling. And uh, we're currently providing materials that have, that allow a disassembly um, at the end of life. So allow a debonding, that have a debonding mechanism basically. Um, for uh, for the uh, well, for the adhesive itself. Okay, so how do you see the potential for this industry? Which kind of batteries are we talking about? Well, the p potential is quite big, actually. Um, mostly driven by, I, I would say, two two aspects. On the one hand, um, it's well the economical aspect for the uh, for the OEM. So we've seen in the past that there were quite a few like recalls happening um, of batteries based on some kind of faulty battery cells or modules, some bus bars uh, mm -hmm. that might not be working. Mm -hmm. Now, if you now try to basically open up the battery pack and it's not possible because it's permanently glued, well, you're, well you need to write off the whole battery, right? And um, we do see that there are possibilities, for example, in terms of battery pack opening, so you, uh, we have um, uh, we have materials that will enable a service, uh, serviceability of the battery pack, but we also have materials with very, very low, like pull-up forces for battery modules. So you can swap individual parts and don't have to throw away the whole battery when it's not needed. Okay. Okay. And who are you particularly hoping to meet at the International Battery Recycling Conference? Um, well, it's it's mostly the recyclers, to be honest, um, which well. We have here quite a few um, to just um, create the awareness um, that there is someone who can solve the problem of not being able to um, recycle in a um, well in the most economical way, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mostly about first of all extending the lifetime of the battery, right? So enabling a second use of the battery, and then for the recycling, separating the material or the uh, well. Uh, the materials in the battery pack as early as possible. For example, the battery housing itself, which mm -hmm. is usually some kind of like pure aluminum, mm -hmm. why not separate it from the rest and not shred the whole battery pack and then trying to um, get, the, uh, get the aluminum back um, once it's been shredded. So there are technical benefits, economical benefits, and it's sustainable? <laughs> Absolutely. It's, uh, it's kind of difficult to, uh, to to sell sustainability, right? Um, but as a, a as a, a further lever, there's also um, the regulatory effects. So we do see that with the upcoming battery regulations, with um, the battery pass, with a potential right to repair, um, we do see the need for having a debondable battery system as is to be able to rework a battery in, in case of anything is uh, not working right. So there is multiple needs for the OEM, for the battery or the automotive OEM actually to use these kind of materials um, and at the very end it will make the life of the recycler easier as well. So this is what we're hoping. And how important is it to meet people in person to get your messages across? This is quite a new concept, yeah? It's super important. Uh, we, we see this here today, I mean, Packed. Um, I would say um, I've, 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 I've been in the conference earlier. Every seat is basically taken, 
um, and the whole ecosystem is here really and it's fantastic to have these kinds of conferences to um, well show show ourselves at these kinds of conferences and so it's brilliant to be here today okay great well we wish you lots of great contacts over the conference thank you very well, much thank Philip. you so much thank you